Oh, hey. What's up, YouTube? Didn't see you there. Welcome. Episode 1, Becoming Twitch Streamer. Cool intro. Ba -na -na -na. Yo, maybe one day. I don't know. But right now, YOLO. Hey, uh, straight up though, guys. Yo, no, seriously, welcome. Uh, this is definitely a new series on my channel. I just want to start a uh, kind of road to becoming a Twitch streamer. I personally just kind of want to document like a virtual diary of maybe um, things I've learned, things I picked up. Maybe something that, I mean, you could take away from, hopefully, if you are thinking about diving into something like this. Or even, um, I don't know, anything, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what my story is. And not only that, hopefully we can evolve it into some kind of podcast or something where we can pull on other streamers. Listen to their stories, kind of how they made it or how they're growing or, or just where they're at, to be honest. Because I would love to look back on this one day and just be like... Don't miss being small, you know, <laughs> don't miss being small, but, um, definitely, uh, let's just jump into it. I think today all I'm going to cover is just kind of how I got started on Twitch and, um, kind of the motive behind that and everything. And, um, yeah, we'll save later episodes for maybe strategies and stuff I've been using or developing throughout the years and whatnot. But let's, uh, today just cover kind of how I even became on twitch to be honest i even became uh well not really a streamer i tried to stream once and this was my main regret one of them but who knows and maybe it happens for a reason but um one of my main regrets is i actually streamed on twitch before it was even twitch it was justin.tv and um i had no idea what it was i didn't even understand really the concept of what live streaming kind of was i mean i know you play live or whatever but i don't know it was just it was such a new platform it was just kind of weird right and i watched youtubers and stuff i was back from the cod days speaking of the cod days um that's where i ran into justin.tv it was uh optic uh they definitely were like hey this is a cool new idea platform you guys should like check it out or whatever and i totally did and i was like whoa this is kind of crazy like this might be something to try or something and and i definitely wasn't like a youtuber but i always was seeking out like montage clips or just trying to be the best especially back then and this was early first cod 4 and early modern warfare 2 so this is like yeah pretty 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 back there um and all i remember is like taking i had a like a computer like a family computer in the kitchen you know and i remember taking that in the middle of the night when my parents were asleep i think i was like 15 at the time and i straight up snuck into the back room and with our crappy like dial up i swear i think we had dial up internet like uh what's the upload speed on that one like negative five yeah maybe but like it <laughs> I don't even know. But honestly, uh, I snuck it back there, connected to Dazzle, which is like, if you guys don't know this, like, I mean, 90s, if you're above 90s kids, I guess, um, the new millennials, I don't know, whatever they call them. Um, this was a capture card that only captured in like 240p. Like, this is like literally pixelated. The, I mean, uh, you're basically legally blind watching uh, something in that quality. Anywho, I connected it, and I remember I streamed for the first time. And I remember streaming for about literally 20, 50, like 20 to 30 minutes or so. And that was the only reason that because of that is like when I was live streaming, I just remember the quality being awful and it skipping. And like I don't even know how people – even knew what I was game I was playing and I remember the whole time just sitting there being like oh, I'm sorry I'm sorry you know like hopefully it's not bad and I remember I couldn't even say it. I didn't have a mic I was like typing it in the chat or whatever and um I like literally never touched live streaming after that day I kind of just saw what's up like tested it out and then never like grinded it improved my gear my game setup to like do it Honestly, years and years and years and years later, obviously, the PlayStation 4 dropped. And when the PlayStation 4 dropped, I was still really, really into gaming. Not so much console gaming at the time, but then um, I was kind of going to PC world and all that stuff. But then PS4 dropped, and obviously I wanted the PS4, um, old school, like, COD guy. Um, but when they announced the PS4, it had integrative streaming. I was like wait a second like i tried that once uh forever ago and before that i was on twitch a lot but for some reason it never clicked to like start 
live stream myself i do it was weird like i don't know how to say it, it was just like because i didn't have any ca like capture cards i didn't have any of the setup and stuff and i think because the playstation 4 was so easy just like click a button you could live stream i was like oh my god like that kind of jump started me because since that day i literally was just like throughout the months just upgrading 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 my whole entire setup to what it is today and um i all i remember is just yeah jumping on right away going back like being like oh my god i've had the same like kind of gamer tag elmanite since honestly i could remember so i knew my twitch account was still that you know and I remember going back on and it's like, you know, actually like logging in and stuff. I had 238 followers already. And I was like, how do I have any followers already? And I was like, oh my God, it's, it's that first day I streamed for 15 minutes on Justin.TV. And I kid you not, that's what it was from. And I was just like, you know, fast forward to nowadays. Hello, hey, if you're a new streamer, how long does it take you to get 230 new follows? Because... I swear, within the first week of streaming, you probably get zero. You know, like so. I was like, ah, oh, man, that ah, that's smarts. But anywho, you know, maybe it happens for a reason. I don't know if I would have quit all of a sudden of like, you know, starting from back then and all of a sudden growing, but then you can't make anything from it. You know, back then, I don't know. But um, anyways, uh, just gotta keep moving forward and keep moving forward. And that's kind of what we were all about. And I just fell in love with it. There was, I connected so much more with streaming than I ever did with YouTube. And the motivation grew from that. Like just being able to directly talk to the chat was by far the best thing ever. I remember I used to post YouTube videos only to go to type in the comments and stuff like that. Um, so definitely Twitch vibed with me way more than YouTube ever will. I think, um, but I enjoyed it. It was fun to play the games. It just kind of, you know, you get to show off to like your skill or how much you suck. One of the two. Um, but it definitely was fun. And ever since that, I kind of PS4 dropped, like I was hooked streaming all the time, even my buddies, but I definitely like kept going. And I mean, we're still here today, but, uh, that is definitely, you know what? I think I'm going to cut off there. I'm going to, I'm going to save it for another episode uh, like I said, that's kind of how I started and kind of got into it. Um, next one, I'm thinking we'll t kind of talk about, I'll chime in about kind of the the craziest parts. We'll have some good stories uh, next go around. Um, we'll talk about kind of the road this past four or five years of uh, how we failed and, and things we've taken from it and even life of how it affected everything in the stream and stuff and and if you honestly if you love it you got to keep going for it guys like anything anything but don't lie to yourself and don't act like you're hungry and you want it you know if you just want it because someone else is success successful that's fine that's like that's honestly fake you're just being fake to yourself like um i don't know how else to exp explain it but just you know find stuff you're passionate about man and don't be closed-minded either just because you know you might love gaming or something but um just keep an open mind and i honestly i hope everybody every person out there does find their passion and what they really want to go after because it is really hard but like i said um you know we'll share more kind of our journey and what we've been up to and also um the steps and like i said the fails we've taken so um, i'll say that for episode two you know definitely appreciate you guys so um Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the live stream. Okay. Yeah, no one wants to lose that, but...